L'été dernier, j'ai créé une routine qui m'a permis de parler couramment le français. Me voici au début. On, on, durement, on, on, les informe, euh, de... Me voici à la fin. Tu vas voir que tu as beaucoup plus d'informations à ce sujet que toutes les autres personnes, même les personnes qui ont, euh, ont, qui ont trouvé la réussite euh, avant toi. Je vais mettre un lien pour cette vidéo à la fin de celle-ci, mais la vidéo que vous regardez actuellement va montrer l'intégralité de la routine de 8 heures par jour que j'ai suivie pour réaliser ces résultats. After breakfast, I go straight into my most important exercise, my speaking exercise. And I'll spend four of the eight hours of my routine on this one exercise. Let me explain how this whole routine works. The exercises I've chosen for this routine and the time I spend on each exercise were determined by my ultimate goal, taking my speaking ability from terrible to fluent. So since my goal is based on increasing my speaking level, I spend the majority of my time doing a speaking exercise. This routine divides the eight hour time period in half and devotes four hours to speaking and four hours split between four exercises that all supplement this speaking exercise. The first exercise is for my accent. The second is to improve my skill in conversation. The third helps me recall words I know quickly. And the last improves my ability to understand conversational French. The goal of this exercise is to develop fluency, which is the ability to recall the words that you know without having to think about it and use them to express ideas that make sense to someone else. I use two free apps for this exercise, DeepL, which is a very good translator, and Anki, which is a flashcard app. What happens is I spend 30 minutes speaking in front of my computer and I record myself. Et donc, la première chose qui s'est passée. I do this 30 minute session eight times for a total of four hours every day. After each 30 minute session, I watch clips from the video and write down any words that I didn't know how to say in French and any sentences that I didn't know how to structure. I translate these words and sentences in deep L. I put the words in an Anki deck and the sentences in a Google sheet. That allows me to study them later on during my vocabulary session. In four hours, I do four variations of this exercise. In the first, I speak freely about any subject at all. In the second, I tell stories that are related to my life. In the third, I read an article, and after every two paragraphs, I verbally summarize what I read. And in the fourth, I watch a video and then discuss what it was about from the notes that I took. These variations get progressively more difficult. I made an entire video that details step by step exactly how to do this whole exercise, and I'll link it in the top right of this video. Our goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of next month, so please like and subscribe for more content geared toward helping you speak fluently faster. Because this portion of the day is so long, I use a reward system similar to the Pomodoro technique to increase my productivity and stay focused during each 30 minute session. I do two back to back 30 minute sessions and then I take a 20 minute break where I have a choice between three rewards. The first is taking a 20 minute walk. The second is watching a 20 minute anime episode and the third is eating a snack and listening to music. This makes it much easier to focus during the back to back 30 minute sessions because while I'm studying, I have something to look forward to. These breaks are optional, so if I feel like I want to go directly to the next session, I do. The speaking exercise was 50% of my study time. Now I'll split the second half between accent, vocab, conversation, and listening practice. The goal of this exercise is to help me focus on speaking with an accurate accent by eliminating the part where I have to come up with what to say. The exercise is simple. I choose an article to read, I read it with the best accent possible, and when I come to a word that I don't know how to pronounce, I put it in Google Translate and I try to match the pronunciation. Vol. 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 If it's a common word that I use often, I also add the word to a list of words to practice later. After every three paragraphs, I listen to a video clip of someone who has the exact accent that I want to have in my target language for about two minutes. Then I continue reading my article out loud. Il faut avant tout comprendre comment la qualité de la lumière influence la prise de vue. Centre détenu. Ça fait une semaine que tu es en quarantaine avec les nouveaux arrivants. Mais ce soir, tu vas en cellule. 
L'éclairage photo répond aux exigences d'équilibre entre ombre. This refreshes my accent and gives me a model to strive for. This exercise works because it allows me to focus 100% on speaking with a good accent. Over time, pronouncing the words well becomes automatic, so when I have conversations, I can pay 100% attention to what I want to say and not lose my accent. C'est tout, c'est le fait que... Je pense que c'était juste le fait que c'était la, pre la première fois que j'ai fait ça. Conversation is easily my favorite exercise of the day. I don't do live conversations every day, but three days a week, I talk to one of my two language partners for an hour or two. Voilà. Enfin. Ça fait la... <laughs> c'était pas de ma faute. <laughs> J'avais dit... Oui, désolé. During this exercise, I don't consciously try to use new words that I've learned. I let the words that I use come naturally, and very often I see that I've already started to incorporate new words and sentence structures from my articles and speaking exercises. As you speak to natives, you naturally start to absorb their speech patterns, the words they use, and their slang. During this exercise, I also give feedback that corrects the speaking habits I develop during the speaking exercises that I do while I'm alone. Throughout the day, I've written down all the new words that I've encountered during my speaking and accent exercises. Now I have a list of new words that I'll add to my Anki deck. The goal of my vocab exercise is simply to go over the new words that I've learned, which will help me recall these words quickly in conversations with others. Prevenir, prevent or warn. Se distinguer, stand out. Mettre en valeur, highlight. During this exercise, I create my new Anki cards and go over the words that Anki has selected for me to study today. I study Anki cards for an hour. If I finish all the words that Anki has placed at the top of each deck, I click on a deck that I feel that I need to go over, and I study the entire deck, and then I move on to the next deck. I do this until the hour is over. This exercise works because going over the new words that I've learned, and even the words that I've known for a while, helps me to be able to recall them quickly when I need them. Ça va faire que la liste est moins, um, moins, uh, comment dire? <laughs> Parfait, oui, c'est ça. Over time, I internalize them and have fewer instances where I have to consciously try to recall a word that I know. Je sais pas, le moment. Ah, je savais pas, oui. Je dis ça tout le temps en, en anglais, mais je savais pas si ça existait en, uh, en français. Et je cherchais le mot, j'ai trouvé aimant, mais j'ai jamais entendu personne dire ça. <laughs> okay. It also helps me to incorporate new words into my conversations by keeping them top of mind. My final exercise of the day is another fun one. It's my listening exercise. The goal of my listening exercise is to help me understand conversational French, so I try to find TV shows and movies that allow me to practice comprehension at a high level. Anytime I watch something in a foreign language, I watch with the subtitles on whether I need them or not. That way I catch things that I might otherwise miss. Often people pronounce words a bit differently when they speak informally than they do when they speak formally. Because informal conversation is usually spoken a lot faster and with poor enunciation. Watching with the subtitles on helps me to catch these words and learn the informal pronunciation. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. To the left is a time lapse of the 30 days where I took my French from terrible to fluent. And to the right is the video that details exactly how to do the speaking exercise from this video. Check them both out and I'll catch you next time on Language Lords.